On behalf of the governors, I'm pleased to be able to offer your son a place at Watford Grammar School for Boys for September 2004. If you wish to accept this offer, please return the enclosed acceptance form, duly completed, to arrive at the school no later than Wednesday the 30th of June 2004. An early reply would be very much appreciated. Please inform us by letter as soon as possible if you do not wish to accept this offer. If you have already accepted a place at another secondary school, you must withdraw that acceptance immediately before accepting the offer of a place at Watford Grammar School for Boys. Yours sincerely, Martin Post. How would you describe yourself in year seven? Tall, weird, nerdy, recluse. Some things never change. Gorilla. I was insane. Well, I thought everyone would be smarter than me. Yeah, I just had a low voice and was covered in hair, really. Kind of like you now. So, what do you remember of year seven? Mr. Simpson. It was uh, a year mainly of torment. The scars are with me to this very day. I remember there was like one of the interval rugby games we had. Uh, I think I had a one point like an entire team try and tackle me at once. What was it actually popular? Hurling oranges at Josh M every single day. Walking to the, to the new field. Yeah. You're walking along. Yeah! Sesame Street theme tune playing as you walk in. You're happy as Larry. Sunshine, great day, you're there, you go, right, you've got to do this every Monday. We were expected to play a rugby match after doing that. And honestly. Um, well, we were in Animal Farm, Miss Broken did the loudest shriek ever. Craziest year I've ever experienced. Um, so much going on. People flying around, not flying around, with a Hogwarts. Yeah, I remember everyone did Scooby-Doo's, a bit weird. That's really bad. just tying bits of plastic together and making more plastic things. I think that was the start of the film The History Boys, right here. That was the start of my illustrious film career. So, you're eight. Well, we'd all been together for a year, and people were really beginning to get to know each other, finally, and for the first time, I think, people started to realise that. Kindle is an idiot. I had lessons such as classics with Mr. Pegler. I'm not sure if I learned anything. Nick Craig bullying me every minute of every single day. All I can remember is being in a history lesson with Mr. McDermott and I think someone threw a table out of a window. Simon, are you a camel? I'm a camera. I have lots of pumps. Year 9. Year 9. I, I don't remember too much from year 9. You know, the most important academic year I've had thus far, and of course the biggest exams that I've ever taken, SATs. We dressed up as muffins. Yeah, yeah, we had that, didn't we? Muppets Treasure Island, but that was that. I had, I had my temporary sets change. I'm sure Simon was talking about when he was Miss Piggy. Um, Simon looked. Very nice. <laughs> Funny that a Jewish gentleman dressed up as a female pig. Oh god, there's no yeah. irony. Nothing really happened in year nine. It was just a <laughs> pointless year. Probably the year in which I was most stupid in my entire career. I finally got my hair cut after. It was my first haircut since year seven or eight years ago. Dropped GCSEs and you and were hey, Suddenly, you've got to choose your... I chose French. That was the worst. <laughs> I couldn't even count to 20 in French. And somehow I got a B. Oh, Mr. Paul. <laughs> a legend. <laughs> I remember I put down drama. Jordan Kimbley and I were both competing for Dan Rose's love. Dan Rose was meant to be playing a woman. Dan Rose, Jordan, nearly kissing. That was... Yeah, that was very odd. Oh, year 10, I captained the uh, B team cricket. We had two fixtures and one of them was cancelled. I can remember Harry Benjamin in the singing competition, music competition. I've seen her Harry, nice guy. Song, rubbish.
Yeah. How did you feel of starting, you know, your GCSEs? It was easy. Year, year 11 was a big change for us. I saw a big change in everyone. Everyone started to become serious and I kind of missed the days of the blank year 8s and the year 9s, year 7s where, you know, everyone was just a bit more fun to be honest. Things started getting a bit more stressful because you start to think, I better start working. But then also you think to yourself, hmm, I remember year 11s from when I was younger as being, you know, those pricks that sort of ran around causing mayhem. We also lost some people that year. Not like that. We had a few odd ones, didn't we? We had a few odd ones. We still have a few odd ones. Geez. Everyone became political. <laughs> oh yeah, because well, it was the election that year, wasn't it? Doing it, doing it four subjects at AS. Yes. Then looking back and said, how did we do 11? We didn't, I thought we did 30, you know? 30 subjects. You did 204. The sixth form centre for the first time. Oh yeah, time. that was really fun showing up on GCSE results day and being like, what is this? People uh, joined sixth form, I still don't know their names. You had the political anorak, if you will. You had the medical students. Oh, the joys of the UCAS process. People start being a lot more conscientious and you realise that it's actually just for this form. You see that dental society? Uh, I actually wrote on it, put this on your UCAS form society. Uh, access to the gym. This is six forms, this is a struggle for, you know, as the kids are called it these days, to get hench. My memorable contributions to the Literature and Arts Society. Most of these contributions ended up on the floor alongside me. How's the last year been for you? It's been a blast, hasn't it, really? I've been it. <laughs> that lecture. But what happened was it, was it was Paul up there and Tom down there, and then someone like pointed. To them. They both simultaneously stood up and started talking. It was the way that they stopped, but then at the same time they somehow both knew how to again. start at the same time again. Sixth one was great, like freedom, holiday lessons. Then installed these back gates. So we've gone from Watford Grammar to Belmarsh. Being a prefect, we have achieved an incredible job this year. 50 guys as part of 100 ladies. You get to break up fights between little children. Other things we've got on our university challenge, our previous class at the township. Poland is developed. Is that me? If I hear that sound one more time, honestly. What advice would you give to your year 7 self? My year 7 self, um, honestly, there is no point in doing any work until the last week of year 11. God, I hope you don't have kids. What advice would you give to yourselves in year 7? Um, maybe just make the most of it. I'd say calm down. Get over yourself yeah, and calm so. down. When you're always worried about making an impression of yourself and it sort of does stick. Make Don't be too one. worried about making a good impression, you've got plenty of time for that. Yeah. Become a bully, because it often, most of the time, leads to popularity. Leave the six formers alone, year 10, year 11. Eat less. Oh, for goodness, can I get a word in? I would say, get involved with anything that you want to. Get involved with the music, if you can play an instrument. Get involved with the sport, any other clubs. What will you take away with you from your time at oh, Watford Grammar? One of the chairs. Memories that, you know, no one should have to experience. I just hope people coming through the school have the same kind of memories. Yeah, everyone deserves that I, memories like that. You know, like, no one can leave the school unscarred. All the friends I've made, all, all five of them, actually, yes, that's a lie, all three of them. Possibly the knowledge that I can make a lot of money from tabloid papers regarding certain members of our year. No, you can be yourself, and I'm sure someone somewhere will understand you. <laughs> I'll take away myself. It sounds strange. What I mean is that everything that's made us who we are, who I am, you could argue, it's because of this place. Joking apart, it's been a beautiful experience. Seven years of bondage, bonding with boys. Yeah, the people have been amazing. You know? Everything's been a big opportunity. A lot of the experiences we've had in, you know, the jokes in rugby, the jokes in lessons, some of them appropriate, some of them less so. I definitely am thankful that I went to this school and not to another one.
Dame Elizabeth Fuller, what a lady. The surprise of our glory days. I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I had hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that for me it isn't over. Never. Nothing compares, no worries or cares Regrets and mistakes, their memories made Who would have known how bittersweet